Every decision we make in our lives as individuals or as organizations is a piece of communication. It's our way of saying something about who we are and what we believe. This is why authenticity matters. This is why you have to say and do the things you actually believe because the things you say and do are symbols of who you are. And we look for those symbols so we can find people who believe what we believe. Our very survival depends on it. So if you're putting out false symbols, you will attract people to those symbols, but you won't be able to form trust with them. I talk to so many smart, fantastic, ambitious, idealistic, hardworking kids, and they're right out of college, they're in their entry-level jobs, and I'll ask them, how's it going? And they'll say, I think I'm gonna quit. And I'm like, why? They say to me, I'm not making an impact. They treat the sense of fulfillment, or even love, like it's a scavenger hunt, like it's something you look for. My millennial friends, they've gone through so many jobs, they're either getting fired, I mean it was mutual, or they're quitting because they're not making an impact or they're not finding the thing they're looking for, they're not feeling fulfilled, as if it's a scavenger hunt. Love, a job you find joy from, is not something you discover. It's not like, I found love, here it is. I found a job I love, that's not how it works. Both of those things require hard work. You are in love because you work very hard every single day of your life to stay in love. Passion is not an actionable word. It's correct, you know, that those who do the things that they're passionate about do better, but it's not helpful advice. And so the question is, where does passion come from? Passion is a result. Passion is an energy. And passion is the feeling you have when you're engaged in something that you love. Passion is the feeling you have that uh, you would probably do this for free, you know, and you can't believe somebody pays you to do it, you know? And I think we mistake that passion is something we do in our private lives, but it shouldn't be done, you know, in our careers, for example. And I'm a firm believer that you are who you are. And anybody who says, I'm different at home than I am at work, in one of those two places, you're lying. And the goal is to make everything you do in home and at work something that you have excitement to do. So how do you find the things that you're excited to do? Well, it's actually easier than you think. What are the things that you love to do? What are the things that you would do for free? You know, how can you recreate that feeling and, and be paid for it? So what are the things that I do on the weekend, right? I love, um, I'm very involved in the art world. I love to go to museums and galleries, but I love to go see dance and performances because I want to see how others are, are interpreting the world. So that inspires me. New ideas, new thoughts, new ways of looking at the world are, are things that interest me privately and I seek it out and pay money for it, right? So does that mean I have to have a career in the arts? No, it means I have to have a career where new ideas are explored, where people are experimenting and trying things out and I have to explore new ideas and try things out and I'm just as excited to go to work every day as I am to you know, go do something on a Saturday night. And so the idea of finding your passion is ironically simple because you should be doing stuff that you enjoy sometimes. What is the stuff that you enjoy? And then what is the stuff that you love? Who are the people that you love and what, are those, what do they all have in common? Say and do what you actually believe and the symbols you put out there, the things you say and the things you do, those red hats are ways that people can find you. What you have the ability to do as designers is create those symbols and allow people to use those things to say something about who they are. Work for companies, work for clients, work for people who you believe what they believe. Show up and feel a part of something bigger than yourself. And your part is to put what they believe into pictures and words and symbols and graphics so that other people can use those things to say something about who they are.